In every people's story, there are fateful days. For Spain and Catalonia, these are times fraught with risk. After emergency cabinet meetings this morning, Spain's Prime Minister came to tell his parliament he's demanding clarity from Catalonia. The question, did the document signed yesterday by the separatist leader amount to a declaration of independence or not? The answer given by Mr. Puigdemont will determine what happens next. In his hands lies either re-establishing the rule of law, as everybody is asking him, or continuing the instability, the tension and the divisions in Catalonia. Because the Spanish government's position is simple. Catalonia cannot use an illegal referendum to secede. And if Catalonia does try to split away, Mr Rajoy told Parliament, he'd begin moves to impose direct rule on the region next week. Spain's Prime Minister is a leader under intense pressure. Some here in Parliament say he should not compromise with Catalans who they say are trying to blackmail Spain. Others say he should seek compromise. But what nobody is criticising him for is defending Spanish unity. And if anything, it's the Catalan leader who's under even more pressure. This is the declaration at the heart of the issue. The Catalan leader, Carles Puigdemont, signed it, then immediately said he was suspending it, and the text is ambiguous. The fact it was fudged has left Catalans, who want independence for their region, feeling cheated. I feel totally let down. He took a step back. The people supported him to do something, but he didn't do it. In Madrid, tomorrow is Spain's National Day. Preparations for the parade. Across the capital, those opposed to Catalonia breaking away are flying the national flag. And in an office high above the parade, they were hanging theirs out. Do you have different opinions that you... It belongs to Juan and Santiago, both lawyers, both from Catalonia, both opposed to Catalan independence. I'm Catalan, I think, I speak, I pray in Catalan, Juan told me. Puigdemont does not speak in my name. So Spain's divisions are growing deeper, and now the government has set a deadline next week for Catalonia to come back into line. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, Madrid.